Hi, I'm JP, here for Warrior Sound, and in this video we're going to show you how to record vocals into GarageBand for iOS. There's a couple of different ways we can do this. So, with GarageBand we have the option to either record vocals or even an instrument uh, into it, and we've got the track that we used in the previous video uh, just as the demo, and what we can do is I can show you how we actually get vocals in. So there's a plus button at the bottom, and this is Tracks View. There's also the plus button in Live Loops as well. And what I'm gonna do is when we press plus, it's gonna just take us back to the uh, sound selector. I'm gonna scroll along and I'm gonna use audio recorder. Now the audio recorder um, is a, simply, you will, if I launch it right now, we'll activate the microphone that's built onto the device you're using. So for example, the iPad. So if I do that, I'm gonna take you through the user interface for this first. And then we're gonna talk about different ways we can actually record. So the user interface, the very top of our bar is the same as always. So that is our control bar. And then underneath that, we've got the ruler, which is the eight bars again. And then underneath that, this now changes over for vocals or for instrument recording. So going from the left-hand side, we'll have an in, and you can see as I'm talking on the uh, actual screen, you can see my input there. So in is for input, out is for output. So think of it like a chain going from the left-hand side through GarageBand and then back out again. So right now it says in, and you can see my voice going up and down in the green. Next door to where it says in, there's a, looks like a little jack, and if you actually tap on that, it's giving you the input settings. So all the information about it. Now at this point, this is where you can change things. So we can either have the microphone here or we can go into app audio. And that's where you'd use, for example, if you're using a different vocal app, which has got a effect on, you can bring that in. And you can see the level there. So we can drag the slider to set the input level, or we can just tap it on automatic. And then what it'll do is it'll give you an optimal amount. Now, on the automatic side, the downside with that is that if you are singing quite quietly and then all of a sudden you belt out a note, it's gonna drop it down quite a lot and does a little bit of ducking. Uh, so you can do automatic um, if that's fine, if you're singing relatively the same way, uh, that's quite useful. As well, on the bottom, there's also a noise gate. So we can turn on the noise gate, so it will actually only kick in the audio at a certain decibel level. At the bottom there, you'll see it just says mic channel. That will change depending on what you've got plugged in to GarageBand. So at the moment, it's not selectable because all we're using is the microphone that's actually on the device. In the middle, we've got what effect we want on there. Now, again, just like you would choose uh, a different sound on the piano or the keyboard or any of the, uh, t uh, the touch instruments, uh, you see this bit says lead vocals. And at the top there, you've got studio and you've got fun. So with studio, of course, it's geared towards actually recording studio styles. So we've got things like radio ready, uh, heavy distortion, extreme stereo narrator, for example, if you're doing podcasting. But then also you've got things like producer effects. So you've got effects that come from guitars. Um, you've got acoustic guitar effects. Um, so obviously if you're plugging in an acoustic guitar uh, or if you're recording drums, uh, a bit of sound for that. And then the fun side is ex exactly what it says. So you just basically record it and it's got things like a chipmunk and a, you know, a robot and a monster. So it is just a little bit of fun. Um, now, depending on what you pick, I'll just show you there. So at the moment, um, if I pick one of them, so I'm gonna pick telephone, you'll see that some of the control knobs change depending on what you're using. If I go into studio, then you'll see there's some control knobs under there. So we've got things like a basic compressor, we've got pitch control, tone, drive, vocal hall. Now on the other side, you'll see it says out. At the moment, nothing is uh, coming out of this right now. And that's because we've not turned it on yet. Now I can record right now, no problem. But the, well, the only problem is that I can't hear it. Because if I hit record, I can't hear the rest of the track. If I do that, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get feedback where it's gonna go out, come back in, and you won't be able to isolate the difference between the recording of the vocal and the music. So I hit monitor, and it says to use monitoring, connect a pair of headphones or an external audio device to your device. What that does is it means that it knows that you're not gonna get feedback, and also uh, that you're gonna be able to hear that. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna basically, I would hit record, again, it's giving me a one, two, three, four, and it just opens the recording. You can sing along or you can speak 
and then you've got the metronome there if you're just speaking you might not want the metronome and then it's going to hit the record and then that's it it's done but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, ways that you can record in whilst monitoring yourself as well <laughs> 